Roblox characters' animation become epic more alive when their faces move. Most new animators focus only on body movements. But the truth is, your facial expressions control the emotion, the storytelling, and the entire mood of your animation. So today, I'm going to show you exactly how to create smooth, clean, perfect Roblox facial expressions using only Prisma 3D and a light motion. And yes, you can do all of this on your phone. In this video, you'll learn the same steps I used to create this previous Roblox animation short film. How to control eye movement, how to animate mouth shapes, how to build emotion changes, and most importantly, how to blend everything together so your character doesn't look somehow. Watch closely, because I'm breaking down each part in a simple way, so even beginners can follow along. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to make your Roblox character smile, blink, react, show fear, anger, excitement, anything you want. Let's jump straight into Prisma 3D and start with the basic setup you need before animating expressions. So, I will be using this character for this process which you can get the link in description. First thing to do is to apply animation timeline to the character. And after that I move to a light motion to change the facial part of the character texture to any facial expression I want. Let's see the workflow. Then, after putting several facial expressions to the character texture, take time to start applying in Prisma 3D. First, I start with this one texture with smile facial expression, and I key it at first frame. Then drag the frame a little bit forward and apply another texture with different facial expression, and key it also. Then I start repeating the process in any moment at the key points I want. So, when you now play your animation you can now see your facial movement is working according to your keyframes. So that it, simple and perfect for your project. With this method you can now make a perfect Roblox animation using Prisma 3D and a light motion. So if you have any questions drop it in comments see you next time.